<laughs> do you guys have one of these things, an alphabet mat? I'm gonna give you a few ideas today to upcycle it into some activities for your kids. Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and let's talk about these alphabet mats. They're little puzzle mats. I'm pretty sure a majority of you have them and you use them just to play on, which is completely fine, but you can actually use this in some really great activities, and I'm gonna show you a couple of different ones at different skill levels so that you can adapt it to what you need. If your child is learning their ABCs, a great way to set this up is to put them in alphabetical order all in a row. Pretty obvious. As you can see, my mat, the letters actually come out so we can actually put them in as well. If you have some ABC flashcards, now is the time to pull them out, draw one and have your child go and find that letter and stand on it. You can even have them draw the flashcard and go and match the flashcard up to the correct letter. If alphabet is way too easy for you, maybe you're working on phonetic sounds. So you can draw the letter and ask the child, what sound does this letter make? Is it a B? What's the B sound? B, B, B. And the child then has to tell you when they're on their letter. Another fun game is to look around the house for objects that have the B sound or the D sound, whatever letter you want to choose. And the child has to match up that item to the letter on the mat. I have a whole bunch here. This one came from a Lakeshore learning set uh, for rhyming and the little miniature items, but you can find little things all around the house, one for each letter of the alphabet, and then just place it in the correct spot. Really easy here, guys. You can take flashcards, maybe make your own, and match up the letters to the flashcards to spell those sight words. It becomes a life-size movable alphabet, and I guarantee it'll be a lot of fun. Maybe you're a little bit more advanced and you're learning about word families. Perhaps it's at words. So just put together A and T and then provide all of the consonants that would go along with it to make new words. Switch them out and talk about them. This is a very tactile way to learn how these letters interchange with these big alphabet pieces. So there are just a couple ways that you can play with your alphabet puzzle mat. Let me know how you use your puzzle mat at home. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.